find out, I mean, Smart Coast has made a, a proposal to us, and I'll pass it along and ask somebody to, I, for the press people here. Here's the stuff up here. Um, my real concern is not so much Smart Coast proposal to accept that or not. My concern is the education program, and I'd, I'd like to talk to the mayor and, or, and Ken and kind of find out what we're going to do and when we're going to start doing it. Uh, I saw Ken while I was out walking this morning, and they were working on the thing. And, uh, some of the complaints, I think both he, he and I did agree that both uh, the magnitude and the number of complaints has decreased a little bit. But I see some people out in the audience that still don't like the striping, Mr. Zunk. And uh, I just want to talk about how we're going to do this education program, when we're going to get started. And I think it was my impression from the last meeting that we were going to have an education program. Mr. Mayor, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for some direction here. Well, our first uh, meeting we're having was with the Rotary, and I don't have the date in front of me. I put Jennifer and and also uh, Jonathan are actually going to go meet, and if Ken go, we'll have all three. But we're actually going to go around to the different civic groups and start. Uh, we actually are trying to have our final walk through this Wednesday. And some of the concerns, and you might have it, is the uh, center lines. People really are concerned about the center lines. And if I recall, and I think uh, Jimmy Davis even brought up on their traffic, was that vehicles, a street that has over 6,000 vehicles a, a day is supposed to have a center line. And on Bancroft especially, we're catching a lot of complaints. Because if you look where the old center line was and they grind it out, people think that that's still their center line. And now we had the diagonal parking all the way right by the intersection. And if you have a pickup truck, it's right on the white line. And it's so close when two cars or a, a larger vehicle, like during Arts and Crafts, we had buses running around the clock, dropping people off. And you couldn't even turn to go down the street because there was pickup trucks there. We had trying to turn in and the buses coming at the same time. And I believe some of the city employees caught a lot of com concerned citizens' uh, complaints. And if we probably recorded them all at that time, we would have heard a lot. I personally have told Ken, and we're re-looking at where we, it's either change the diagonal back on the, uh, where the businesses are, but the businesses are real happy to have the diagonal parking. If we change any of it, I think it'll all be on the Faulkner side. So we're looking at that to see if we can somehow make it wide enough so when the cars come up to the intersection. I've also instructed Ken to look at the center lines because I think you have to have a center line to know where to line up when you come up to the red line. Because if you're off any at that intersection, you're taking up where the car is trying to turn into the street. I, and, I, and I appreciate all that, Mr. Mayor. And that's not my con my but concern is not that I don't you know but as far as education okay, we're going to start the education we're going to start going around, around and, and I've instructed Jonathan since he's the planner to actually start setting up meetings to go around and explain what street complete streets are and then go forward with the, with the plan and we're actually going to start with all the civic groups and get on their list to go around sign up with Sherry to go to the uh, Nick Center. And so we're actually over the next few months trying to get in front of all our civic groups as best we can. And anybody else who would like us to come visit, if they just call either Jonathan or my office, we'll be more than glad to, so they can schedule to come talk and visit what we're trying to accomplish. Are we going to put signs or are we going to try and have signs that, that kind of explain what was it, Sharrows? We actually I, I don't put, know what all We're it. actually going to so, put on the street says so share uh if we painted the name on the street because the count i mean the, the state actually just put signs up said so share the road uh and we might have to put some of those but we haven't been able to figure out where to put them on magnolia yet so we're still looking at that but we're going to try to put the shared 
stamp we will put on Magnolia, which is where we do have the shared road, and also on Bancroft on the far on the one end. Is there any plan to send out a letter or create a flyer or do anything like that so people can look at a piece of paper and they it, they may not hopefully they won't be looking at it while they're driving but they would uh, at least be able to read something that, that says what all this stuff means. We haven't, but that's not something that we can't because my only concern is if I can't make it work, you can understand it right now without the education because you remember we have probably 30 percent of the people that drive into this city every day that have never been here before staying at the grand hotel or other places and if they come from wherever and they can't understand what's on the street that's what bothers me more than than educating the citizenry because i think part of the concerns with the citizenry is letting them know what we're trying to accomplish about letting bicycles and the other thing with bicycles i think we're going to have to have a little part of the education is is we're going to have to start ticketing these bicycle people who want to run red lights and want to run stop signs and want to do all the things because I think they're just as guilty when they do those things as a car and so you can't have it both ways and if they're not going to follow simple rules and I think even the chief said that they're going to be in those bike lanes and if they're not going to be that he's going to ticket them so we're going to start that as well as part of the educational that it's not going to be just all for the bikes and they can do anything they want it's going to be cars in, in, in downtown, especially with all the pedestrians. But that's the plan as of right now. And it does mean we might need to do something else. Maybe we have a meeting uh, to try to encourage. But generally, when you have the meetings, public meetings, it's all the ones that, that want it and, or, or the ones that don't want it. And you have the two different groups in there. Uh, I think when we had Dan Burton and we had a good group that were real concerned. So I think it's a work in process in progress and, and 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 hopefully we'll get the thing worked out. 